Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. And today we're doing a reading for the element of Earth. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We're going to start with Taurus. This is Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and Saturn. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Three of Wands. You're pondering over something, or someone is. be enough. Yes, yes. King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> You're thinking about money with the Pentacles. Do you have enough to offer? thinking about it. I feel like this is honestly within you. Like, yeah, I do. But you know, with the Nine of Cups, I feel like that's kind of like the beginning of something and th I feel like this is your person taking on this energy and I feel like that's why you feel like do you have enough because I feel like they have a lot stability abundance wealth And again, I feel like you're doing this to yourself with your Nine of Swords. Because I feel like this is your King of Cup or King of Pentacles going to make an offer to you. Yes, I feel like it's them. Yes. But you feel very heavy. Weighed down because I feel like you're putting yourself in this position because you don't know if you're worthy. You need to know your value. It doesn't have to do with what you have. You're at war with yourself. Because this is what this person is offering you. 
the Ten of Cups. And a lot of emotion. A lot of cups. Yep. That's what I'm getting. That's that's I'm not feeling anything else. I can look. Nope, not feeling any of this. So first off, we need to learn to our worth, our value ourselves. That shows that you're a hard worker, this card. And you need to this is indecision indecisive. I keep getting that word with readings tonight. Yes, yes. Because you're putting yourself here. I mean, they're they're going to make an offer and you're carrying too much burden, but I feel like you're putting it on yourself. Some of it, no, but this person can help you. They can help you. They can help you go forward in what you're trying to do. They can bring stability and abundance to you. Well, that's what I got. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Saturn for Virgo. Don't forget we got that moon coming up. The micro, full micro moon on the 13th, Friday. Start releasing. I started last night. I start three days before, during the full moon, and three days after. Anything that no longer serves you or anyone that does not serve you for the greater of your good. Or anything or anyone that causes you pain or heartache. Eight of Swords. Three of Swords. I feel them, so I gotta take them. Strength. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. I'm not feeling that one. Uh, two of Wands. Two of Swords, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, a Fool, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, still feeling more. Okay. We need to. Okay. With our Eight of Swords, someone's keeping themselves stuck or feeling like they have, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. But if they would just get free and take that off, 
so they could see. Then they could look at the whole situation with clarity. Get a better view. There has been heartache. Now, yeah, there's been heartache. This is past, present. But we've got strength here. You're having strength through the pain. And you want to make an offer. Or someone wants to make an offer to you. I feel like someone wants to make an offer to you. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're taking on the King of Cups energy. And someone is offering you. I feel like emotions, love, because we've got the King or the Knight of Cups. Hmm. I feel love on your part too. And I feel like this is you. You aren't letting go of that wand. But you're not moving. But you are. It's like you've got them in your sights and you're not letting go. Somebody's guarding their heart. You're guarding your heart. And you're not seeing clearly. There's the moon. Makes me see the moon card. Not seeing clearly, not seeing with clarity. You need to take the blindfold off. You need to let those swords down and let love in because this feels like love on both sides. Yeah, it does. Yes, yes. There's that cup. This is, you see, that's a cloud. I feel like this is a blessing. A blessing's being offered. But you, you just, you're hanging on to a lot of burdens, a lot of stuff in your head. I do feel like you are burdened also but I feel like some of it if you would take the blindfolds off you could see clearer and deal with it a whole lot better still have those burdens but I feel like that's that's going to clear pass this is a new beginning this is like starting over the zero at the beginning this is the beginning the new journey forward this is love yeah You've not given up. You're fighting this. You feel like you're winning your own battle against yourself and what's going on with you. Look. Do you see that? There's your person. King of Cups. Queen of Cups. This is meant. I think I'm, I'm probably supposed to stop, but no, I don't, I don't know. I think I should keep going. Yes, I should. Someone's going to go. Someone is going to move towards this. One more. The world. The world's being offered. You could be dealing with any sign. Oh. Balance. The situation has balanced out. It's balanced. 
this is it. That's what I got. I'm not feeling that bottom card at all. So, Virgo. Looks like you just need to use your intuition and release. Release some crap. <laughs> release some things, maybe from your past or something, that's keeping you stuck. And release past hurts because they're causing you to guard your heart so much. Too much to let love in. And that's what I got. So, yep. That was pretty doggone good. We, You know, this is not the first time I've got the, the perfect match. That's like the perfect that go together. Maybe dealing with a water sign with those King and Queen of Cups could be a Cancer, or you may have Cancer in your chart, or your person may. Okay, one more. We like Capricorn. Sorry about that. Okay, Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles. Judgment. Hmm. Two of Cups. Oh my goodness. The world, too, and Ace of Wands. Uh, somebody's been manifesting a new beginning. I don't feel like this is. I feel like this is blessings. Like. You see how there's, there's all different things in them, them cups. I feel like this is abundance in like different areas of your life. Someone's working hard. You know, basically we've got everything right here. I was trying to go further, but, and I may, because I feel like, I feel like a karmic cycle, somebody went through some sort of karmic lesson or something with their judgment. Someone is working hard. I feel like this goes here with, they've got a craft or crafts this is this is in their future they may have had okay this is past they may have had to learn some sort of karmic lesson but this is coming and our ace of wands it's a blessing a new beginning growth The world could be dealing with anyone, any of these signs. I feel like you, you, like I said, I feel like it's 
just blessings just it's like the, the world's the limit yeah because you're manifesting you can manifest and manifest and manifest ah ten of cups that's what you're that's what you're aiming for that right there oh yeah so I, you know we didn't see who you're dealing with but feel like we basically got it right here I feel like you've had to go through some sort of lesson or they have Capricorn but I feel like you're going to have your your wish your what you've been manifesting the thing that you the, the person you've been constantly thinking about and what you want King of Cups Two of Cups So I think we got it there. I think that's just awesome. An awesome, awesome read. So, if you enjoyed the reading, give it a thumbs up. That'll help you to move it on uh, where it belongs so that whoever or however many people, because I feel like this could be for many people, need to see it, we'll see it. And... Uh, if it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it resonate. Check your birth chart. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more readings, subscribe. Hit that little bell. I'll notify you every time I upload. Bye.